The Black Stars, consistent in their game, uh, and that counter-attack especially was crucial uh, for their win today. Certainly, if you look at uh, the way that Ghana have scored their goals at this World Cup, then uh, the five goals, almost all of them have been scored in transitional moments, apart from the free kick, really, that led to the opening goal in the match against South Korea. Every Ghana strike has been on the counter-attack, and it's a game where we're seeing uh, Otto Addo really basing himself on a solid defence, a strong defence, a really, uh, shall we say, African defence, you know, with those big bodies there, strong bodies, uh, very fast bodies. Mohamed Salasu is one of them. Tyreek Lamptey came in today and was very positive in the right-back position. And, and they're using that to their advantage uh, to try and get results. And they got the result that they wanted against uh, South Korea. Two goals up, then they had a little bit of a scare, it has to be said, with uh, South Korea coming back to two all uh, with half an hour left to play in the game, but their talismanic midfielder, Mohamed Kudus, who is certainly one of the stars of this World Cup so far, thumping in uh, the third for the Black Stars, who shone at their brightest in, uh, in this game, and they had to, because now they're in a perfect position not only to qualify uh, from this group stage for the first time since 2010, but to get a victory over Uruguay, of course. We all know what happened in 2010, and that last minute uh, Suarez handball to deny not only Ghana, but the entire Africa continent a first ever World Cup semi-final. And that's very much going to be in their back of their minds. A draw will do, but I think that might be the danger. If Ghana only play for a draw, they might put themselves in danger. Uruguay have the talent, as we said before, Karim was saying, they've got the players to play, so they're going to have to be careful. But very, very impressive Ghanaian side. They pushed Portugal uh, very, very deep, and they dominated for large parts of the game as against South Korea with their weapons, not dominating possession, but certainly dominating the game plan. Yeah, Karim, uh, they're, they're, of course, not the only African team that's still uh, in contention for getting through to the knockout rounds. Yeah, because... We rely on Senegal. In my opinion, Senegal is the best chance to move uh, as much as they can in the World Cup for Africa. So we'll see tomorrow if they uh, can win against Ecuador. And it will be a win or go home situation, which yeah. is, in my opinion, better for their mindset than back in 2018, where they made a draw and that wasn't enough because of the yellow card. So. Yeah. I, I trust in Senegal for tomorrow. Big, big uh, day to come. I said to, to grab this shot as well, you know. There you go. Well, we'll speak Africa, about though. it, of course, at uh, the same yeah. time uh, tomorrow.